Hello again everyone, this is Mike from Jimbu Pal, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up your phone to type in Chinese. Now in the last video, we talked about how to set up your computer keyboard to accept Chinese input, and how Chinese input method works in general. Now if you're unfamiliar with this, you're going to want to make sure that you check out that video as well. I will leave a link in the video description below. I find that it's very important to have Chinese input methods set up on your phone from the very start of learning Chinese. This is because as you're walking around on the go day to day, you're going to be encountering a lot of natural language and natural conversation even in your own native language that you realize you don't know the Chinese equivalent for and you'd like to look it up really quick. Another thing you can do is type in quick translations into Google Translate to have a guess at how you might translate something into Chinese. This is a great way to get a more immersive experience in your learning. Another thing is obviously if you're practicing Chinese directly and having conversation or wanting to look something up, it's very useful to have Chinese input method on your phone. Now I personally have an iPhone, so today we're going to talk about how to set it up on an iPhone. However, if you're an Android user, I've put some links in our blog post that corresponds with this video to show how to set it up on an Android. I'll leave a link in the video description below as well. So now let's talk about how to set up Chinese input method on your iPhone. You're going to want to go into Settings, then to General, Keyboard, Keyboards, and then Add New Keyboard. Now I've already set up Chinese input method on my phone in the past, so these are already pulled up to the top of the list. But you'll just have to go and find Chinese Simplified or Chinese Traditional in the list below. So today I'm going to set up Chinese Simplified, and I'll choose the Pinyin QWERTY. This is what you're probably going to want. This is Pinyin, which is the most widely used input method, and QWERTY is just the standard conventional keyboard setup. So we'll click Done, and now our keyboard is set up and ready to go. Now let's talk about how the keyboard actually works on your phone. So we're going to go into Google Translate, and you can see that the keyboard is already pulled up here. You can tap this globe to cycle through the different keyboards that are already installed on your phone. Also, you can hold it down and select that way. So you can see that the, above the keys, there's different options for characters, and as you type in different pinyin, those options will change. And when you hit the spacebar, it will input that into whatever field that you're currently typing into. So we can just type an example sentence here to show how this works. Like we'll say, um, we'll say walk gang gang. So walk gang gang. Walk gang gang. That means like I just or I just now. And then we'll say, 在我的手机上. So, 在我的手机上. That means on my phone. So, I just on my phone. And then we can say, 设置了. So, 设置了. Which means set up or to configure an option on a computer. And then we'll say, 中文输入法. So, 中, 中文输入法. So there it is. You just set up Chinese input method on your phone. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, please be sure to give it a like and hit the subscribe button right now. Also, be sure to check us out on our website at jimbupal.com where you'll find tons of other blog content to supplement everything on this channel. This video is part of a series about how to get started learning Mandarin Chinese. So if you're just joining us in the middle, make sure you go back to the first video in the series and watch it all the way through, as there's tons of content that you will no doubt find very useful along the way. I'll leave a link to the first video in that series in the description below. Thanks everyone.